our morning session. And the first speaker is Krzysztof Barański from University of Warsaw. And the title of his talk is Typical Behavior of Boundary Points of Fatu Components of Transcendental Maps. Go on. Krzysztof, you are muted. We cannot hear you. Yes, it's okay now. Okay, thank you very much. And I would like to thank the organizer for uh, a wonderful job in, um, uh, with, this, with this conference. And uh, I was especially surprised by that uh, wonderful uh, meeting at the beach yesterday. Okay, uh, so um, I will be talking about two papers. Uh, generally, uh, th this is a joint work with several people, Nuria Fajeja, Czavir Żarke, Ogusława Karpińska and Anna Zdunik. Uh, and I would like to uh, apologize to those of you who uh, have already heard this talk at the Impan Seminar. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, I consider entire or meromorphic maps on the plane. Uh, these are the standard, uh, the standard uh, notation, uh, which I use, the Julia set, the Fatou set. Uh, generally, I will uh, consider uh, some Fatou components, which I always assume to be invariant. So U will be uh, a Fatou component, uh, which is invariant. And I will uh, denote a bounded orbit set by K of, K of F and escaping set by I of F. Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, these sets, the escaping set and also the bounded orbit set are well-known subject of interest. Usually one studies their properties uh, globally uh, within the uh, whole Julia set. Here in this talk, I consider um, the, um, the sets just within uh, the boundary of a single Fatou component, uh, an, an invariant Fatou component. Uh, I, I, I will consider um, two, in fact, two or three cases, uh, attracting domains, parabolic domains, and Baker domains. Uh, generally, I, I will assume that uh, this uh, component, Fatou component is simply connected. This is always the case for entire maps, uh, but I also consider a meromorphic case. Uh, okay, so the first part is concerned with uh, parabolic and Baker domains. So uh, since I uh, assume that the domain is uh, invariant, uh, U is parabolic just if there is a um, fixed point uh, at the boundary with um, a derivative one. And uh, the iterates uh, of the map converge to this point. Uh, and uh, the, Baker, the Baker case is when the iterates converge to to infinity. So generally we have a domain and some point here which can be finite or infinite and uh, all points converge to this boundary point. Uh, of course, by definition, uh, in the parabolic case, the whole domain is uh, has uh, bounded, uh, bounded orbit. So it is in K of F and in the, in the Baker case, uh, it is the, the domain is in I of F. Uh, however, this need not to be the case for the boundary points. The boundary points can uh, have a different behavior. In fact, 
um, as an example, there is an uh, open question uh, which seems to be uh, maybe simple, but it's uh, it's really uh, not simple. Uh, if whether in the uh, case of Baker domains, uh, can we always find a, an ex in, an escaping point in the boundary? This is not known. Surprising. Uh, so so uh, here I, I will uh, talk about some uh, results on the typical behavior of, of boundary points uh, in, in some cases for parabolic or Baker domains. Uh, okay, here's, here's a, a picture of, of the two cases. Uh, the first one is, is just the exponential uh, uh, parabolic base. And here we have, uh, uh, here we have uh, a parabolic point uh, and and the, the white region is um, the white region is the basin. Of, of course, it is the the, the, the picture is um, copied uh, periodically uh, here. Uh, and here is a very similar, um, a very similar uh, picture, but it is uh, another case. It is. Um, uh, the classical uh, Fatou example of an invariant Baker domain. Uh, so uh, points uh, points uh, in the right half plane uh, move to the right, uh, and uh, so uh, this white region is is um, uh, an invariant Baker domain. And here 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 also the uh, it is copied periodically. Okay, so how to, uh, we, we can see that the boundary is complicated, yes, and how, uh, how to, to deal with the behavior of, of the boundary points. Uh, since our uh, domain is uh, simply connected, we can consider a Riemann map. So we have this domain U the map F and phi is a Riemann map. Uh, so we can um, pull back uh, this uh, map F to uh, the map on uh, the unit uh, circle uh, the unit disk D, um, and uh, this will be called uh, this will be called G. This map. G is a so-called inner function, uh, which means that it has um, radial limits, boundary radial limit uh, limits uh, uh, of modulus one for almost every um, at almost every point uh, of the unit circle. Uh, and now we have generally two cases. Either uh, the degree uh, of the map on U is finite, and then uh, G is a finite degree inner map, uh, which means that it is just a finite Blaschka product. Uh, it's a, then a rational map and extends to the whole Riemann sphere by, by uh, Schwartz symmetry. Mm. Or uh, the degree uh, of f is infinite uh, on u, uh, and then g uh, cannot be extended through uh, the, uh, the whole uh, the whole unit circle. There is at least one singular point in, in the unit circle where um, g does not uh, extend holomorphically. Usually, uh, the, the, there are uh, there is a, a lot uh, of uh, of such points. Uh, okay, and uh, since uh, since uh, uh, we consider a parabolic or Baker case, uh, 
we know that the iterates of f converge to, to the boundary point. Uh, so there are no fixed point uh, in the domain U. Mm, and consequently, the, the, there are no uh, fixed point uh, for G in the unit disk, which means mm, by the danjois wolf mm, theorem that there is a point zeta mm, in the boundary uh, such that the iteration of G mm, converge to this boundary point, danjois wolf point. Okay, so this is a, a general uh, setup here. Now, uh, there is something which we called uh, baker pomerenka colon classification of such, uh, of such um, inner functions. Uh, th this uh, comes from uh, a paper by Cohen from, uh, I think, 1980 and two papers by Baker and Pomeranke, uh, more or less from the same time, maybe one year earlier. Mm. Uh, what is this classification? So, uh, so we have, we have such a, mm, mm, such an inner function, maybe I will make a very small uh, figure here. Uh, okay, we have, we have this inner function G and um, the theorem uh, says that there is a holomorphic map Psi from the disk uh, and here um, there is some domain omega, which in fact is of three types uh, written here, um, such that the, uh, the map G is semi-conjugated uh, to uh, the map T, which is just uh, the translation of, of one. And uh, this uh, domain omega uh, is of three types, is possible of three types. First type is uh, the unit strip, the unit, just the, uh, uh, a strip, um, horizontal strip. The, the second case is a half plane. And the third case is uh, the uh, entire uh, complex plane. The, the first case is called hyperbolic, the second is called simply parabolic, and the uh, third is called doubly parabolic. Uh, let let more... me ask you one thing, Christoph. So yes. you are assuming here that the, the draw off point of G is in, in the boundary, right? Yes, 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 of course, yes, ah. yes. I should yes. say okay. that, uh, yeah. thank you. Uh, of course, uh, this is not an, an, an um, elliptic case because uh, then... yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah thanks okay uh, okay and what's uh, excuse more me. excuse me yes uh, in hyperbolic case you cannot specify the height of the strip because you are translating so you consider like a quotient annual annulus the modulus is invariant yes but uh, this is um... This is not uh, conjugation, but semi-conjugation, yes? Yeah, still, still. H height can be always one. Uh, for example, for brush kick product, attracting fixed point on the boundary. There's a modulus problem. Maybe you are right, maybe then it is Okay, because the, the usual uh, the usual picture uh, is that it is uh, that it, uh, the usual picture is that it's just a, a half plane. Uh, okay, and the map is of the form uh, omega maps to a omega. Uh, a is yes, uh, yes. yes. So I, I here I uh, yeah you are probably right. I, I just uh, change it to to be. Uh, 
uh, yes, uh, of the form plus one. Oh, okay, thank you. So this is yeah, uh, thank you. This, well, it's not so important. Yeah, this is some some uh, a constancy. Thanks. Uh, uh, okay. Mm. Fine. Uh, so the, this theorem um, by by uh, proved independent by uh, Baker, Pomerantz, and Cohen uh, says also that there is uh, th this map psi is uh, really a um, conjugation on some uh, smaller domain here, yeah, green one, which is uh, which is uh, so called absorbing, uh, which means. Uh, that uh, that all uh, points of that it is invariant and and all points uh, of, of the domain um, are uh, of the disk are eventually uh, mapped into this absorbing domain okay so this is uh, this uh, classification um, uh, and um, uh, uh, it, it is quite uh, easy to check uh, that it is uh, related um, to the behavior of um, of the sequence of hyperbolic distance between uh, consecutive uh, points of the uh, orbits uh, of points in in the in D. Um, so if we if we consider such such a sequence, um, Z is just uh, just uh, mm, ah, is, is in you, but uh, you can uh, equivalently uh, take um, hyperbolic uh, hyperbolic Poincaré mm, metric in the disk, yes, mm, and and uh, it is of G. So uh, the mm, the sequence uh, by by the Schwarz lemma is uh, decreasing, yes, but it can decrease either to zero or to uh, some positive. Uh, a positive number. Mm, so if we denote this this limit by a of z, then these types three types can be characterized uh, in the following way. Hyperbolic times means that uh, that this uh, limit is uh, always positive. Mm. So it does not uh, uh, the, the sequence does not converge to zero. Uh, a simply parabolic case uh, means that uh, okay uh, the, the hyperbolic case is, is that not only it does not converge to zero but the limit is is uh, uniformly bounded from from below uh, simply parabolic case is that still we uh, uh, the, the limit is uh, positive but it can be uh, arbitrarily small, uh, and the doubly parabolic case that uh, is that this limit is zero. Okay. Uh, moreover, if uh, if um, if we assume that the danjois wolf point is non-singular for for this uh, inner function, which means that that it can be. Mm, extended holomorphically uh, in the neighborhood of of, the, of this point, uh, then uh, th this classification is just the classification of this danjois wolf point as a fixed point. Hyperbolic type means uh, this point is attracting. Uh, simply parabolic means that it is a simply parabolic fixed point, and doubly parabolic means that it is a doubly parabolic fixed point, and uh, that's. Mm, that's the reason of, of this terminology. Mm, okay, uh, here, is, here is just the, uh, uh, the, the definition of, of simple and doubly parabolic fixed point. So, so we have this, uh, so we have uh, uh, these three types of, uh, of behavior in that case. Uh, let, let's uh, let, uh, notice that um, if U is a parabolic domain, then uh, always we have doubly parabolic type. Uh, even, uh, even if this um, parabolic point P 
uh, in the boundary of view is a simply parabolic fixed point. So, so in this classification, then it is doubly parabolic for, uh, for this inner function G. And this uh, follows Im immediately from, uh, from the existence of FATU coordinates, because the FATU coordinates just, just give this uh, semi-conjugation uh, 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 described in, uh, in the uh, Baker-Pomerenke-Cohen uh, classification and uh, by, by, by the property of this FATU coordinates, we, we see that it is um, doubly parabolic. The, the uh, hyperbolic uh, distances between uh, uh, points in the orbits tend, tend to zero. Uh, okay. So uh, now the theorem. The theorem, uh, which was proved in our joint paper with uh, uh, Nuria Chavi and uh, Bogusia. Uh, so we we consider invariant or parabolic simple connected domain u and uh, we consider uh, a harmonic measure on the boundary of u harmonic measure here can be just uh, defined by uh, the uh, image um, by the image of uh, of the lebesgue uh, measure on the uh, unit circle we have we have riemann map Mm, here, uh, oh, I think it should be minus one here, yeah, because this is u, this is phi minus one. Here we have Lebesgue measure lambda, and here we have harmonic measure omega. Uh, okay, so um, we have uh, we have uh, the following dichotomy. So, if U is a Baker domain, and uh, if if the inner function uh, uh, G has either hyperbolic or simply parabolic type, then it for, for uh, almost all points with respect to the harmonic measure in the boundary, uh, the boundary point escapes to infinity. It is in I of F. Uh, on the contrary, if U is a parabolic domain, we, we know that then uh, it has doubly parabolic type, or U is a Baker domain of doubly parabolic type, then a typical um, point in the boundary uh, does not escape to infinity. Moreover, it has dense trajectory uh, in the boundary. Uh, this this uh, paper, in fact, was inspired by uh, by a, an, a, a previous result by uh, Phil Rippon and Gwyneth Stallard, which consider the case of univalent Baker domain. Uh, such that f is univalent, and and then uh, then f necessarily has hyperbolic or simply parabolic. Uh, and the case of parabolic domain, in fact, it was proved uh, some time ago in the context of uh, rational maps in the paper of uh, uh, Dering Manier and uh, uh, Aronson Denker and uh, Urbanski. Okay. Mm. Uh, this is an example, mm, a very nice one, uh, from the paper from uh, a paper by by um, Baker, Baker and Dominguez. Uh, this is a map, uh, an entire map of, of this form uh, with infinitely many Baker domains of double parabolic type. These are these Baker domains and everything moves uh, 
to the right, there are some, some hairs in the boundary. This is a, a magnification. And uh, one can show that uh, these Baker domains are of doubly parabolic type. So uh, almost every point in the boundary uh, in the sense of harmonic measure uh, has dense trajectory and uh, does not escape, does not escape uh, to infinity. Uh, we can also uh, show that, that this doubly parabolic case uh, where the points in the boundary does not, do not escape to infinity holds provided uh, the hyperbolic distance between uh, fn plus one of z, fn fn of z is smaller than one over n plus a constant divided by n to some power larger than one. Uh, so in, in this case, in this case, uh, uh, typical, uh, harmonically typical uh, points in the boundary have dense trajectories. Mm. Now uh, look at, at this uh, interesting example by Aronson from the 80s. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a map, uh, a meromorphic map defined by the series. And uh, it's easy to see then that um, the upper and the half plane are two uh, Baker domains that Julia said is, is just the real line. Here we have u plus and u minus. Uh, these are Baker domains. Uh, and uh, if you compute, if you compute this hyperbolic distance between um, fn plus one and fn of z, uh, this is of all the one over n up to some constants. But, uh, uh, but uh, almost, uh, but it, it is not this, the, the case uh, considered in the previous theorem. So the um, typical point uh, in the boundary escape to infinity. So uh, this is a really small difference between uh, these two, uh, well, between the, the estimates in the theorem uh, and uh, this example. So, so, so uh, it would be interesting to, 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 to know the optimal, uh, the optimal condition for, for the sequence to, 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 um, to have this uh, doubly parabolic time. Mm. Okay. Uh, I will maybe I will skip this uh, slide. I will just say that uh, we can show also that the classical this classical Fatou example um, of Baker domain is of doubly parabolic type. So uh, so um, a typical point in the boundary has dense trajectory in, in this boundary. Mm, and generally, this holds for, for uh, maps of the from z plus a constant plus a small uh, small error. Mm. Uh, I uh, I wonder if I have time to uh, to say something uh, on the proof. Maybe I have no time, so I just. Uh, I just indicate that the, uh, the, case, the proof in the hyperbolic and simply parabolic case, it, it, it just uh, follows uh, the ideas of um, Phil and Gwyneth. Mm. Uh, 
and they 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 used some uh, to this aim they use some uh, estimates uh, from a complex analysis uh, of the uh, for, for for the conformal uh, maps maybe i will i will just skip this mm, uh, and uh, and say something about uh, about the uh, proof in, in doubly parabolic case. So in doubly parabolic case, we use um, the results uh, by Aronson from the 80s. Uh, uh, they was also described in the um, paper by Derrick and Manier. Uh, here in, in this uh, case, we use the fact that uh, the map G uh, the map G um, on the unit circle, which is defined almost everywhere uh, as, as a radial limit, in the sense of radial limit, it preserves the following measure. This measure is just the, uh, this measure is just the image of, of the Lebesgue measure on R. Here we have Lebesgue measure. Uh, uh, and uh, here, if we take if we take a standard Mobius map mapping uh, 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 upper uh, upper uh, half plane to the unit circle, then this uh, Lebesgue measure um, can be transported here to the uh, unit circle, and this is the measure mu and uh, it is infinite yeah, because the, the Lebesgue measure on R is infinite uh, and it has singularity at, um, at this dungeon wolf point and he, here here is just the formula. Uh, so uh, we use just three facts proved by Aronson. Uh, the first fact is that uh, if the series, the, if the following series is, is divergent, which means that uh, the iteries of G do not converge to the bound to, to, to uh, zeta too quickly, then a G is uh, conservative. Uh, well, uh, th th this just means that uh, it is uh, equivalently one can say that. Uh, the Poincaré uh, uh, recurrence theorem holds for, for this map. Um, this is one fact. The second is that um, the doubly parabolic type is just equivalent to the fact that G is exact. And exact is something uh, a bit more than uh, ergodic. Uh, and the third um, fact says that if G is non-singular, which, which means that the images of, of uh, uh, measure zero set are, are measure zero, conservative and ergodic, then, uh, then uh, almost every point, uh, almost every point in the unit circle, um, has uh, uh, well has uh, uh, visit every every set of positive measure uh, infinitely many times. So if you you just add these uh, three facts, uh, you see that uh, uh, that uh, you, you you just need to estimate this this series and. Uh, the rest is due to this um, to this ergodic theory of inner functions. Okay, uh, so in this way we um, we end the first part of the talk. Uh, now I would like to say something about the attracting case. Uh, so. The attracting case, 
the, the case of attracting basin. And here we will consider uh, only uh, exponential maps. Uh, and uh, in fact, we now work uh, together with uh, David Martipete, Leticia Varda Simon, uh, Bogusława Karpińska, and Anna Zdunik to extend these results to the case of general uh, entire maps. Uh, but so far, uh, the results are proved for exponential family. So, so now we will uh, consider um, invariant attracting basins for exponential f maps. Oh no, here uh, not only uh, invariant. We uh, oh, we we also um, in fact we uh, uh, we we uh, focus our attention to periodic periodic for two components, attracting periodic for two components. Mm, so we assume that that uh, the exponential map is hyperbolic and we have uh, and we have an um, attracting basin of period P. Uh, so capital B is the entire basin of attraction. Uh, to, to this attracting cycle. And we know uh, that uh, for exponential map, the, the Julia set is then just the, the boundary, uh, the boundary of, of this basin. Uh, now, uh, just recall uh, quickly the case uh, where the, this basin is invariant. This is a very well-known case. We know that uh, then B consists of a uh, just of one component, it is uh, connected. Mm. And here uh, we will consider <coughs> dimensional uh, properties of, of, this, uh, of the points of this boundary. Mm. So uh, a classical result by McMullen from the 80s says that mm, the dimension of escaping set in, in this boundary in the whole Julia set, in fact, is two. So it is a maximal one. Uh, and also by <clears throat> uh, the results of uh, Bogusława Karpińska and uh, uh, Marius Urbański and Anna Zdunik, uh, we know that the dimension of non-escaping points in the boundary, or, or also uh, of, of uh, uh, point, points with bounded uh, orbits in the boundary is between one and two. Okay, so the, the, the corollary is that in this case, a, a dimensionally typical point uh, of the boundaries is escaping. And now what happens in the case uh, where P is larger than one? Uh, then <clears throat> the, uh, the basin consists uh, of infinitely many components. They are all simply connected. Uh, still, the, the result of McMullen holds. So in the whole boundary, uh, the uh, escaping points have dimension two. But now uh, we will uh, look at the particular uh, component so uh, the boundary of a, of a particular component so we consider uh, just one component u of this basin uh, and look uh, how many points uh, escapes and how many points uh, uh, do, do not escape and uh, we can prove um, well first we can prove that the uh, dimension of the whole boundary of, of this component is smaller than two. In fact, it is between one and two. Uh, and moreover, uh, moreover, the dimensionally uh, few points of uh, which escape. In fact, the, the uh, Hauser dimension of escaping points in this boundary is minimal, it's just one. Um, uh, 
is uh, on the contrary, the, the dimension of non-escaping points and even the dimension of bounded orbit points in this boundary uh, have uh, larger dimension, have that dimension larger than one. So what are the corollaries? So since we have uh, countably many such components uh, and each boundary has dimensions smaller than two, uh, then, then it follows that mm, the set of so-called buried points, which are the points uh, which are not in the boundary of any Fatu component, uh, has Hauser dimension two because the whole uh, Julia set has uh, the, the whole boundary of B um, has dimension two, um, while the the, the uh, boundaries of each component have, have uh, dimensions smaller than two. Uh, so a dimensional typical points in the, in the uh, Julia set is then buried. Uh, and and uh, the second corollary is that in this case, uh, within uh, the boundary of each uh, component of, of the basin, a dimensionally typical point is not escape. It's not non-escape because uh, they, they form such points form uh, a set of dimension one, while the other um, uh, have dimension larger than one. Uh, okay. Uh, just just uh, to, 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 to remind you uh, about the topological uh, structure of this set, in the case uh, where P is equal to one, we know that the Julia set, uh, the boundary of B, uh, consists of, of hairs, which are disjoint, uh, and uh, all the hairs except the endpoints are in the uh, escaping set. Uh, and moreover, they have Hauser dimension one. Uh, so all these uh, all these uh, subset of the boundary of Hauser dimension larger than one are essentially are essentially contained in the set of endpoints. Uh, Okay, and what happens in the case uh, where P is larger than one, then uh, the, the Julia set consists, still consists of hairs, but uh, uh, these hairs uh, are not disjoint, uh, not, uh, so, so, so they can um, have common endpoints, and you can see this, you can see this on uh, this uh, picture. Um, and uh, in fact, in fact, we have, uh, uh, like in the um, case P equals to one, we have a topological model for the whole Julia set, uh, which is a um, modified straight brush as opposed to the usual straight, uh, standard straight brush um, in the case P equals to one. Okay. Um, I will just show you I will just show you the uh, combinatorial description of this case of, of uh, periodic uh, hyperbolic uh, basin of uh, exponential map. And, and it, mm, it comes from, uh, it, it was done by mm, the paper of Bata Chargi and uh, Devani. Uh, so maybe I will explain it just uh, explain it on the picture. Uh, so here, mm, okay, we we as we uh, denote uh, we denote the uh, components uh, uh, components uh, uh, containing. We have the, the, this periodic cycle uh, Z one goes to Z2 and so on. Uh, and we denote the FATU component uh, containing these points by uh, U1, U2, and so on. 
and we start from U1. Here we have uh, U1, um, and we, we assume that uh, U1 contains the um, singular point zero. And here we take some domain, which we called B P plus one, uh, this is the domain which contains Z1 uh, and zero, uh, such that uh, the uh, suitable uh, component of the pre-image of the component component of uh, pre-image a lambda minus p odd b p plus one uh, contain uh, yes contains uh, its closure it is due to uh, due to the fact that this is an attracting domain so now um, we take the pre-image of b p plus one we call it b p uh, and it is since since BP plus one contains zero, uh, this contains a half plane here. Then we take the pre image, uh, the components of pre image of BP, uh, which is here. This is in UP minus one. Uh, I think we should have Z zero also here. So here is zero, here is U zero somewhere. Okay, and we take success, uh, successive uh, components of pre-images pre -images of this uh, sets here along the trajectory of Z1, uh, and we arrive again in U1, this is B1. Uh, Okay, so if we look at it forwardly, uh, we have this B1, which is mapped um, conformally into B2, and so on, and, and uh, the same uh, is uh, along the whole trajectory uh, up to uh, which is contains in B0 and B0 is the B0 is, is the whole yellow thing here. Uh, and uh, B0 is mapped by, by the, the e, e lambda as a universal, a universal covering onto B1 minus zero. This is the topological description. And what is important is, is uh, uh, is something that we here called, I think, L. And this L is this green region and from this description it follows that if we that the uh, inverse branches the the logarithms uh, of of uh, inverse branches of the exponential map on l are mapped into this fingers denoted by A. Uh, in fact, L, I should, okay, okay, uh, okay. And, uh, uh, and the whole boundary, the whole boundary is lies in this uh, union of age. So then we have uh, some symbolic description. 
some symbolic description of uh, of the Julia set here, uh, and we, uh, we 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 can we can look at it uh, as the iterated infinite iterated function system. Uh, then we describe these boundaries of of the components and uh, and uh, show the these uh, dimensional properties. Uh, okay, uh, I think I will stop here. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.